turned out, I cannot tell you how much I am resisting putting an edging on here with my fine liner. I might still go back and do that, and I want to print my name on here. But that's for the future. I'm going to leave it just as it is for now. As you can see, it's filling up. Here's the tags that I made, my two Santa Claus tags and my angel tag. This I'm going to leave in here for a while. This is that tissue, that, that napkin that Carol sent me. I really do like this. I think I like it because it's got some postage stamps and postal on it. So I used one of the squares for one of the pages here. This is the dedication page to Sue. And I might go in and put some more red on this. I'm not quite sure that I'm finished with this, but I like it so far. And this is just a an art journal page that I did with houses and the little kids. I would call this just playing with art journal. I wanted to put these clear sequins on there. And I did that with PVA glue and I'm really happy with how it is staying on there. And it's sparkly. And then I wrote a forward. Stamped around there with snowflake stamp and wrote a forward. This is the letter that I wrote on the book jacket. I like that festive red in there. This is chapter one. I put the old fashioned Santa Clauses around the paper for chapter one. So chapter one was all about Macy and her Thanksgiving. And then here was the placemat that I did, an art journal page to accompany chapter one. And then I did this last night. This was the last one I did. This is of the snow that they had. And this is accompanies chapter two. And here's the story of chapter two. So, red seems, to, red and gold seems to be the predominant color. Today, I wanna do another art journal page. I just want to, actually, I just want to do an art journal page that's Christmassy in nature. Sue gave us a prompt. The very first prompt was to do a page, to choose a theme. And I chose the theme and I did the cover of the box with the Christmas stories, but I don't think I really did a page. And today, I just feel like, I have to tell you, I just feel like making art. I feel like playing. I don't feel like writing. I don't feel like doing a Christmas themed December daily type page. I just feel like doing an art journal page. But I'm going to theme it and I'm going this is going to be my prompt one. And of course it's going to be Christmas stories and I'm going to use this as the background. So I picked out some pages out of this tale of fantasy book. Now I've been I've been wiping off pages too so I do have gold here that I'm going to use but I like this image. Can you see this image? It's of a boy reading a book and I really do like that and I'll probably use that on my on my page at some point. And here's some silver that I have across the page. Up, I'm, and I'm intending on ripping this up, tearing both this sheet and this sheet to get some text on here. And then here are some color illustrations. I'm going to rip this out. This is of Gulliver's Travel. This is a Tales of Fantasy book. I've been using it to uh, for altered art and for that type of thing. The book is falling apart anyway. Getting old and yellow. But I really like these figures in here. So of course this is not my art, this is going to be an altered book page. Altered art, mixed media page. I have another another page that I have background with gold and I like this. It looks like a princess and a prince before the throne. I really do like that. But I have another color illustration page here that I believe is here. 
and I like that just because it's it's fantasy stories. So I'm going to use these images on my page, but I want to get started on this. This is going to be an art journal page. The theme is Christmas stories. So I'm going to go into fast forward and you can watch. Thank you. 